artist. As we know in art, there are seven elements. How many? I can't hear you. How many? Seven, that's right. There are seven elements of art. And what that means is there are seven building blocks of art. And today, we are going to talk about one of those elements. We are going to talk about line. Yes, a line is an element of art. There are so many different types of lines in our world. We can think of a line as a dot that's moving. Today, we are going to practice making different types of lines using shaving cream. What we're going to do is I'm going to spray a little bit of shaving cream on a cookie sheet. I'm going to demonstrate each type of line and you are going to follow my demonstration. Make sure not to rub your shaving cream in or else it'll disappear. This activity will help us realize that the lines that we're going to make today in shaving cream are the lines that we can use in our future art projects together. Okay, so I'm gonna take a cookie sheet and shaving cream, and you will have shaving cream at your tables, and I'm gonna give myself a little bit of shaving cream. There we go. Now we're gonna keep our hands in our lap until Miss Schumacher says we can touch our shaving cream. So, now, I want you to take one hand. We're gonna be allowed to touch our shaving cream and we're gently going to spread it out. You don't wanna to press too hard on the shaving cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my hand and gently spread it out. And it looks like Miss Schumacher has enough shaving cream, so I'm gonna go ahead and spread it out over my area in front of me. Okay, so now what we're going to do is you're gonna take one finger and you are going to follow what Miss Schumacher does. I don't wanna see you drawing or making other creations in your shaving cream. I need you to follow what Miss Schumacher does because we are going to be exploring the different types of lines. If you need help, please raise your hand. So the first type of line we're gonna make today in our shaving cream is going to be a straight line. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my finger and I'm gonna draw a straight horizontal line. So I need everyone to draw a straight horizontal line. Excellent, now we're gonna gently rub on top of our line. Just a little bit, we don't wanna to rub too hard or our shaving cream will disappear. Now, I would like for you to draw a straight vertical line. A vertical line is up and down, so I'm gonna draw a straight vertical line. Excellent, now I need you to erase your vertical line. All right, the next type of line we're gonna draw is we're gonna draw hills. We're gonna draw a hill line. Excellent, so go ahead and draw a hill line. Now we're gonna go ahead and erase our hill line. And now I would like for you to draw a zigzag line. A zigzag line. Excellent. So go ahead and draw your zigzag line. Okay, now I'm gonna erase my zigzag line and I'm gonna do a dashed line, a dashed line. That is my dashed line. There's short lines, space, short line, space, short line, space. Excellent, go ahead and erase your dash line. Now we're gonna go ahead and do a cloud line. A cloud line. A 
The cloud line is the letter U repeated right next to each other. Excellent. Go ahead and erase your cloud line. Remember, I just want to see that you're trying your best. Now, the next line we are going to draw is a little bit difficult, so again, just try your best. We are going to go ahead and make a castle line. A castle line. Great, go ahead and erase your castle line. Now I need you to make a looped line. A looped line. Aren't there so many different types of lines? The lines that we're practicing right now are lines that you're gonna be able to use in paintings and drawings for the rest of the year. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and erase my looped line. And now we're gonna make mouse ears. We're gonna make a mouse ear line. Again, just try your best. We are all just learning about line as an element in art. Okay, go ahead and erase your mouse ears. And go ahead and make swirl lines. Go ahead and make swirl lines. Excellent, go ahead and erase your swirl lines. Now go ahead and make wave lines, like waves in our ocean. Wave lines. Excellent. Go ahead and erase your waves. Now go ahead and we're gonna do lightning lines. Lightning lines. Like a lightning strike. Okay, go ahead and erase your lightning line. Now we're gonna make a line using dots. Dot, dot, dot. Made a line using dots. Okay, this is our last line. Now what I want you to do is I want you to practice making a few more lines on your own. After Ms. Schumacher, once Ms. Schumacher says that it's time to stop, what you're going to do is you're gonna take your shaving cream and you're gonna rub it in to the table at your area, you're gonna rub, rub, rub. I'm just pressing with my hand against the shaving cream. And the shaving cream will begin to disappear. So as you continue to rub, the shaving cream will disappear, and this is what you need to do. I shouldn't see any shaving cream. It should all disappear, and then you're gonna rub your hands together until all the shaving cream on your hands also disappears. Excellent.